Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Wednesday, October 14th, 2020. Significant fire potential impacts are shown here for the next three days. Uh, for today, we're looking at continued shower activity over the higher elevations of central Idaho and into wet northern western Wyoming. Uh, the high elevation snow is expected with with this precip as another cold front's coming through and will really drop temperatures down pretty low across Idaho today. We also have some gusty winds out ahead of that low, um, kind of associated with it actually, they're northwest winds, uh, 30 to 45 miles an hour. Um, so even though temperatures will be coming down behind that front, these winds are very strong and fuels are very dry right now. So we're really highlighting those winds in Utah. And then the winds continue on Thursday, a little bit further south across southern Arizona and far southwest Utah. Uh, again, pretty strong winds, post-frontal, so temperatures come down just a bit, but still very dry. And no significant impacts on Friday. For the smoke this morning, we've got a little bit of, of smoke in place over southern Nevada and central and southern Utah. And by this afternoon, that should clear out uh, behind that cold front. And same for the upper levels, a little bit of smoke filtering in from California across southern Nevada and southern Utah uh, clears out by this afternoon as we see the northwest uh, flow moving in. Past 24-hour precip shown here, uh, showing a little bit of, of shower activity in Idaho and western Wyoming uh, without any lightning. Recent fire activity shown here, we had a few initial attack fires pop up yesterday. Uh, this one across southern Utah was about 150 acres, so a um, lar little bit on the larger side down there. And the precipitation for the past 14 days, uh, really so far in October, we've had a pretty good amount of precip over western Idaho and western Wyoming and, and just f moving into the far northern tip of uh, Utah but most of Nevada and most of Utah have been very dry for the first half of October and very dry uh, really since this spring. ERCs are still up uh, pretty high across Utah, at least what we have in here for western Utah. We have another purple station showing up above the 97th percentile. Those values, of course, are, are falling across the north and even over northern Nevada to some extent, uh, but still very dry in place over Utah and southern Nevada. Closer look at the ERCs here for far western Nevada, still hovering right around the historical maximums for the time of year. And then here across the Arizona Strip in southern Utah, um, those values have been setting records for the last couple of months, really since the middle of July. Um, so still no significant precip has happened anywhere across Utah for a while. So we are seeing um, those continued record level ERCs. This morning satellite imagery showing a high pressure ridge off the California coast with this very large long wave trough in place over the northern Rockies bringing that cold front through uh, Idaho and into Utah today and northern northern Nevada so we will see a drop in temperatures behind that front today again with the high elevation snow. Uh, so by this afternoon just looking for that cooler air in place across much of the northern half of the geographic area with those strong northwest winds over central and eastern Utah. Uh, so it will be windy across Idaho as well, but relative humidity is up in those areas, so we're not as concerned. Uh, for Utah, we're really looking at the higher elevations with those downslope northwest winds uh, picking up along the ridges uh, here in central and east, northeast Utah. Precip for today, really just coming to those northern and central Idaho mountains and western Wyoming, and that will be um, a good chance of some snow with those showers. On Thursday, uh, we'll start to clear up, bringing some drier air back into the north. Um, we'll remain under that northwest flow. Winds will lighten up across the north, but we will see them pick up over uh, the southern tip of the Great Basin, uh, especially with any downslope areas uh, influenced by that north, north wind. So a closer look here, uh, far southwest Utah and into southern Nevada is where we'll see those gusty winds up to 45 miles an hour or so. Um, so we do have that highlighted for high risk. Lighter winds across the north. Um, relative humidities are not terrible across the northern half of the area, but still pretty low across southern Nevada and southwest Utah on Thursday. Uh, so definitely looking for some potential for new large fires. Uh, with that wind event. 
By Friday, the winds lighten up across the area, and we'll continue to see seasonal temperatures uh, across the area, westerly flow in place. So generally lighter winds region-wide, uh, higher relative humidity across the north with a dry air mass across Utah and Nevada. Three-day precip totals showing just what we're expecting today across the central Idaho mountains and western Wyoming. On Saturday, more of the same, uh, generally mild, sunny west to northwest flow. So seasonal temperatures are just slightly below seasonal. Uh, across the north especially, that big long wave trough in place over the, the northern Rockies and northern plains. Now on Sunday we'll still stay dry over I Nevada and most of Utah. Uh, we could see a little bit of moisture coming in uh, um, associated with that trough back into Idaho and may see an increase in showery activity once again up there. And the pattern doesn't change too much into the first of next week, still seeing west to northwest flow with a little bit of moisture in that flow across the north. And continuing pattern into the first of next week. So the same pattern, same trend. Utah and Nevada are staying very dry. Idaho is pretty much out of the large fire picture for now, aside from any um, single burn period grass fire type issues we might have across the south. And the 70 totals really pretty much reflecting what we're expecting uh, just today but as we get into the weekend that Sunday time Monday time frame uh, where we get pick up a little bit more moisture in that northwest to west flow we could see some more precipitation uh, across those same areas of central Idaho and western Wyoming and, and possibly a, a, a slight chance for some showers across the northern Utah mountains. Heading into the week of October 21st through 27th, uh, still hanging on to that very cool air mass in place over the northern plains and northern Rockies, bringing some cooler temperatures even into the Great Basin, uh, but still looking for a dry signal over our area and the whole western U.S. heading towards the end of October. This concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.